Hey, this is Reverend coming to you live from the Vulcan Gas Company here in Austin, Texas, for a brand new episode of Count Tony. Get up by Tony! Let's go! Wow, this already feels like a hot crowd. You guys ready to have some fucking fun tonight or what? Yippee! It's Red Band, everybody. Hey, Welcome everybody. Hell yeah. Welcome to Kill Tony, brought to you by the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose, the two best goddamn strip clubs in the world. And they just happen to be here in Austin, Texas. How lucky are we, huh? How about a hand for the band, everybody? I mean, wow. Just incredible. It's the great D Madness on bass guitar, everybody. Matt Muelling on guitar and the great Michael Gonzalez on drums. That's the Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey Kill Tony band. This is uh, the show. We're here. We just made a new uh, cool pact with the W Hotel where now if you say Kill Tony, you uh, save 25% off on a Sunday or Monday night stay at the W Hotel here in Austin, Texas, partnering with that's us. That's badass. That's really cool. And also brought to you by Red Bull and White Claw, if you can believe that, everybody. Uh, that's the show that you're at. You guys ready to have some fun tonight? Great. But before we do, here's a little bit more about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you right now. Hey, y'all. You know... As you could tell by my amazing tour schedule, I'm not able to visit my mom, my dad, my grandparents, who are all deceased, as much as I like. And that's why I love the Skylight Frame. It's a touchscreen photo frame you can email photos to, and they appear in seconds, so my mom can see all my favorite moments. I set it up for her. It's super easy. When she received that first photo, she was like, what? Awesome. And nowadays, staying in touch is more important than ever. And uh, the Skylight Digital Photo Frame makes it easy. You can either email photos to it or upload them from the app anytime, anywhere. It's super cool, super classy, and it's a great way to feel close to those you love even when you're far away. Red Band, you have one for your mom as well. Yeah, you know how hard it is to buy a present for your mom or dad. They have everything, and every time I give something to mom, she always gives it to my sister because she doesn't understand it. And I think because this is a picture frame, she was more acceptable to having it. It was really easy to set up for her. And, and anyone in the family could send photos, just not me. So it's a great way to keep family members in touch. It takes uh, like less than 60 seconds to set up. It's, uh, it looks just like a real picture frame. And Skylight Frame has a gorgeous 10-inch touch screen. So you can swipe through the photos. You can even pinch and zoom and all that fun stuff. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your Skylight, they will offer you a full refund. And you can preload it before you even give it to them with your favorite photos for a special Mother's Day gift. Surprise them with photos they didn't even know you had. Ooh, naughty ones, perhaps. Mm, you can even tap the heart button, and it will let the sender know that you love the photo. This makes the frame interactive and fun to use. And now, as a special holiday offer, you can get $10 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code TONY. That's right. To get $10 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame, just go to skylightframe.com and enter the code TONY. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com and use the code TONY. Are you guys ready to start tonight's episode? Our guest tonight, every single week, we have one of the funniest people in the world. This is very exciting. It's his first time as a guest on Kill Tony. This is a paid regular from the Comedy Store. Good friend of mine. Just did Joe Rogan today. Make some noise for him. It's Monty Franklin, everybody. The great Monty Franklin. Welcome to Austin, Texas, my friend. Wow. Hell yeah. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. As you can tell by the music, he's Australian, everybody. Yeah! <laughs> We're gonna have fun tonight. Can oh. I get another beer? <laughs> already, <laughs> already ordering beers. I love it. Red Band's already, you had some exciting no, Aust hey, Australian uh, sound effects yeah. that you uh, wanted to hit. So were you waiting all day on, for Go on, play this? Land Down Under. I haven't heard that one. I was trying to hit that when you ordered you the go. beer. I <laughs> I accidentally made a kangaroo sound. That is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you are the first Australian that we've had as a guest on this show yes. since the... Uh, Take that, Jim Jeffries! <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I love it. So we're going to have fun tonight. We're going to watch comedians do stand-up comedy. Some of them are regulars on this show, a very uh, highly regarded position in the stand-up world. 
where they write and perform a new minute every week. A lot of these people were just meeting for the first time. You know their minute's up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up then. Or else a few seconds later comes out the West Hollywood bear, which is just a loud sound to make them stop performing. And then I interview them and we talk to them, find out more about them. It's a big, crazy live experience. Are you guys ready to start tonight's show or what? Perfect. Let's do it with style, everybody. Let's start with a regular. This guy made a regular uh, a few months ago. He's absolutely taken the world by storm, selling out his own headlining shows and uh, and uh, opening for Joe Rogan and myself all around the country. Make some noise for the great Hans Kim, everyone. <laughs> Glad you guys survived the tornado. Uh, I'm not surprised there was a tornado in Austin because I know how much you guys love blow. God was just trying to snort up some of that round rock cocaine, you know. I've, uh, I've been seeing a Ukrainian woman recently. Every night I drop my Spesnaz units deep into Kiev. Uh, I try to come up to the Donbass region, but she stopped me at Donetsk. She would have let me fuck her in the butt. Uh, Donetsk, don't tell, you know. Um, I love the Ukrainian people. They're very strong, they're very beautiful, and they have very sensitive clitoris. Uh, I, uh, I think they're great. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I mean, what can I say? That's exactly how it's done. One of the uh, pride and joys of this show is uh, getting to watch your constant uh, growth. I mean, absolutely incredible. And it's super topical minute. <laughs> the tornado thing, for those of you listening to the podcast, there's a lot of tornado warnings, a lot of a little, little bit of that weird Texas twang going around in the weather today. And uh, he's talking about, to be able to make jokes about that the day of, and then stick with a new minute on you banging a Ukrainian. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. Look at you. I love it. Hell yeah. <laughs> so this is all true. You've been hooking up with the Ukrainian woman. Yeah, it's uh, pretty great. Right. And remind us all, like, what do you guys do? Like, well, you have a new place. Do you have a TV in your room yet? Yeah. And you guys watch TV? No. You, get, you guys eat in there or something? Um, no, I mean, usually I come over to her house and then she's like, we start making out and then she asks me how I'm doing like seven times. And then... <laughs> are you sure she's not saying, what are you doing? <laughs> then there's a problem. Um, uh, she consents. Uh, it's, it's a mutual. She knows I'm coming. Uh... <laughs> And then I finger her clitoris. <laughs> Why do you finger the clitoris? That's not really, I mean, if we're, if we're talking real terminology here. Oh, what do shit. you mean by fingering exactly? Like a windshield just, wiper? The way you said it makes it seem like you're pointing right. Oh, like a windshield wiper. Very good. <laughs> I like that. What speed? Are we talking all the way up on the stick? <laughs> Um, you have uh, yeah, to be I, the thing where you pull it back towards you and <laughs> spray it. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Spit on it a little bit, you know. Like uh, intermittent. Yes. <laughs> yes. You ever put on the old hazards? You know what I mean? The old fucking. <laughs> All right. How long are you doing this for? Are you like really irritating it? Like, is it like hours you're doing <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, it or? seems like they would have no idea. And she's like. All right, I came. <laughs> yeah, she has to like grab my hand and pull it out. Um, oh, because oh shit! <laughs> wow, like your just... whole hand was in there. That's just... <laughs> yeah. Went from the windshield to wipe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fisting. You you don't do that to anybody, no, right? No. What's the most fingers that you've put inside of a human? Three. Notice I left it open to uh, perhaps <laughs> men. Three fingers. Yeah. Oh, the old three finger Hans over here. <laughs> Look at this guy. The old three finger exploding heart technique. How did that go for you? Um, it's it was like it kind of ruined the penis. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> Why did you make that sound? 
<laughs> Why did D Madness make that? Was that you? Who was that? Oh my god. The old three finger Hans. Uh, that was three fingers though. Son of a bitch. D Madness. Thank you, Sora. The great D Madness. But let's get back to the three madness of uh, Hans's uh, trickery. So, what happened when you went with the three fingers? What happened? Uh, it just sort of like made the made the penis not seem that big. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> what does that mean? Explain yourself. It's like the three fingers. She was making a lot of noise, and then my penis went in there, and she was just sort of like making medium noises. <laughs> Uh, let me see how big your hand is for a second there. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> I love it. Hans, what else happened this week in your life? I uh, slept in the same bed with a woman for two nights in a row. Whoa. Is that the Ukrainian? No, this is an American chick. Whoa. Look at you. Just jumping fucking countries what over the there. What the fuck? How much pussy are you getting? What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? I didn't get any pussy. I just slept next to her. <laughs> ah. Did she know you were there? Because that could be... <laughs> this could be another problem. Wow. She, uh, <laughs> sleeping with an American and fucking a Ukrainian. Look at you. Just on top of the world. Yeah, some of that sweet, sweet Ukrainian music there. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> so this sleeping with the American girl, how did this happen? She let me stay in her house in December and January, and then she was like, I'm in town. Could I sleep in your bed? And I was like, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> so gross. Smooth. <laughs> and I was all like, yeah. <laughs> What's up, baby? And then I came back at like 3 a.m., and she was asleep, and I was like, I don't want to like, you know, do, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> you were like that, or she was like that? <laughs> You came back at 3 a.m. You yeah. didn't invite her out to see any of your shows or anything? No. I I, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, it, it just didn't happen. She was, she, I invited her out, but she was tired. And For those of you that don't know, Hans sometimes brings heroin-addicted girls inside of uh, green rooms and whatnot and introduces them to Joe Rogan like it's, like, <laughs> like it's just normal, everyday life. Like, you, you mean true. murders. He's responsible for more security breaches yeah. here in Austin, Texas than anybody. <laughs> And that girl murdered somebody. Well, it was a I was actually somewhere. talking about a different girl. Uh, that was those, not the heroin addict. The, the murder is different than the heroin addict. Am I correct? Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're all the same in my heart. <laughs> Something cheesy, like because you don't want to burn bridges with any of them. You know they all listen to the show. <laughs> um, I mean, she didn't actually murder. She just shot someone in the <laughs> torso. Oh, you mean attempted murder? Yeah, she was defending herself. The dude like put herself. Put himself through his windsh her windshield, and uh, yeah. she shot him. Yeah, they usually, usually, usually fall after somebody shoots you in the chest. That is correct. I love it. She murdered that guy. We read the news article. <laughs> You're not gonna sneak one in on us, but it's okay. Everybody loves you. That's how cool you are. Is that you can bring heroin addicts and murderers around, and we're all like, "Oh, Hans." <laughs> See you next week. And we will. That's another brand new minute by the great Thank Hans you. Kim, everybody. Talking tornadoes, Ukraine. The kids got it, man. Let's go to the bucket, shall we? Let's meet a new soul. This could be someone that we've seen before. It could be somebody's first time ever on the show. Anything can happen. Make some noise for Jacob Davids, everybody. Jacob Davids. Sounds like a new name. Here we go. Here's a new minute from Jacob Davids, everybody. I'm not ready for this. Um, I think illiteracy is like swimming. Sure, 99% of people can do it, but can you really? Like if I dropped all of us a quarter mile into a lake or an ocean, how many of us would make it? I don't, I don't think a lot. I think a lot of us would be going for a long float. Um, similarly, illiteracy 
if Joe Rogan came in here right now and asked me to spell jujitsu, or asked any of us, I think a lot of us are getting fucking kicked in the head. Um, I skipped a few words there. Um, uh, motherfucking Hans Kim, he had those, th he, he had those three fingers in that bitch. I know he was doing it like this, my man. Uh, perfect. Wow. God damn it. You're like if someone hit an unfunny spell on Harry Potter. This is Thank incredible. You. Thank you. I get that. <laughs> wow. Spells. You're horrible. I love I, it. I, How I, are I, you? I, I wrote that on the way here. So I love it. Well, did you have another minute prepared that maybe? <laughs> this is... This is the first for me. I've, n I've never done this This before. is your first time doing stand-up. Congratulations. How about a hand for Jacob David? Doing it here. This is not easy, people. This is like popping your cherry. This is like losing your virginity on in a public park. That's what this is. It feels The weird funny place enough. to make your comedy debut, but it takes real balls, which is funny because you look like you don't have any. Oh. No, I'm well, kidding. I'm just joking, Jacob. Welcome to the show. What made you want to do it today? Uh, what made I've, you choose today? I've been, Did you uh, just uh, leave I, the uh, little apartment that you have under your parents' staircase? Very close. I got um, a lot of them. I got a lot of them. You want another one? We were all prisoners of Azkaban during that set. You know what I'm saying? I have more. Thank you. I have more about he who shall not be named. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I have. I don't have any more. I wrote those down when you were performing. I'm like, this Harry Potter motherfucker. <laughs> I cool. love it. Jacob, what do you do? Um, right now I make pizzas. Hell yeah, yeah. okay. I yep. love that. Yeah, I make pizzas, so. All right, how long have you been doing that for? About a month and a half. Month and a half. Yeah. Hell yeah. You seem like the guy that has a, uh, a glass pipe in your center console. And you're Not in the center Honda console. Honda Civic, am I correct? Toyota Camry. Woo, so close. Oh, God. You know those are just... I crashed the my old Civic. <laughs> what? I crashed my Civic. Ah, so you did have a Honda Civic. I did, yeah. Look at I that. Did, what I happened did. there? How'd you crash it? Trying uh, to get a pizza at, to a place on time? We were at, connecting my Bluetooth. Connecting the Bluetooth. Wow. Yeah. You can't believe all that just to listen to Morrissey. Thank you, thank you. He doesn't know who Morrissey is. Not <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It worked somehow. It worked, I think. Yeah. All right, Jacob. So you're making pizzas. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. Did you go to college? I did, yeah. I just graduated last semester, or two semesters ago now, at UWM Milwaukee. You what? <laughs> Milwaukee. I, I went to UWM Milwaukee in Wisconsin. UWM Milwaukee? University of Wisconsin of Milwaukee. Wow. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell Population yeah. one? Are no. you the mascot and the president? There's 15,000 there. What's the mascot? Uh, Panther. Oh, wow. Yeah. You guys yeah. really went for it with that, huh? That's better so. than a white panther, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boring! <laughs> All right, I love it. Yeah. So how long have you been in Austin, Texas? What brought you here? Um, one day. I'm, I'm look I've been here one day. Uh, I'm looking to move to Lago Vista, so... For a second there, I thought you were going to say something really deep, like, one day... <laughs> I'm going to run this city, and I'm like, hey, whoa! You never know. No, but you've just been here one day is what you're saying. Yeah, we yeah. came in last night. Who's we? Me, my mom, and my dad. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are yep. mom and dad in the audience here today? They are not. Oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Oh, I would have loved to have found out what they thought about their unfunny son's comedy debut. <laughs> Oh, how I love bringing parents oh, yeah. on stage. Can, can we get a couple to play his parents here? Is there... Is there a couple? Is there anybody here who has kids? Is there any? You guys are no fun. It's easier to get people to make out with Hans Kim than it is to... Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, the Terminator is here, everybody. How exciting is this? Wait, what's this? Not the Terminator, it's the, the bad guy. The bad the, guy the, the, from the, cop, the Terminator. The bad cop. Are you the actual bad guy? I'm, I'm literally like, maybe this isn't even a joke right now. Am I, like, fucking up and it actually is the bad guy from Terminator? It's not? He just looks like that? Give it, stand up and wave. Yoni, where the fuck are you? You don't even have his face, Yoni. 
You're over there in the corner. He's, you're literally filming the back of his fucking head, Yoni. That's what I'm talking about. This fucking guy. We literally have, we have literally the worst cameraman in the history of all shows. I mean, literally horrible. I'm like, look, everybody, it's the back of He's showing the people on YouTube the back of his fucking head. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable, Yoni. You get that a lot? Do people ask? Mainly for me. Oh, I've done this before. I smoke a lot of pot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I see him, are you the bad guy from Terminator? Hey, what the fuck's the deal with the bad guy from Terminator? All right, who gives a shit? I'm sorry. Jesus, you're so boring. I'm talking to an audience I've, member I've on the show. This, yeah. Literally, can we? Can you just hand him the microphone and you just stand there? No, I'm kidding. Okay. All right. Tell us something interesting about you, Jacob. Um. My pinky doesn't work fully. I lost it in a poker accident. You lost it in a poker accident? What was the poker accident? Um, I was playing, and I was playing online, and um... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy that saw, like, you no, don't even I'm know so what's funny and what's not funny. Like you didn't think that was gonna be funny at all, right? That was a complete accident. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't lose it. Just like function of the top half. Like, can't really. He's accidentally funny right now. I'm so sorry. He's going to have to look back and be like, what did I do? Yeah. I love it. Jacob, has anybody ever told you that you're funny, that you should start stand up? No. No? no. <laughs> Not once. That's I just love this show. That's What's it. your love life like? Uh, pretty single. Yeah. yeah. I had the I old had panther like a, can't find a cougar out there uh, delivering pizzas porn style. Not, not hey, yet, did not you yet. order? I mean, it seems like that's how it would work in fucking what is it? Western Milwaukee, the uh, University of Western Milwaukee, University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Yeah. Dude, you need to stop saying the Milwaukee part. <laughs> why, right. why do you say that? Is that a thing? That's just the name of it. All the UW is it, schools that, is go that, that way. Is that different than the University of Wisconsin, the Badgers? Like, why Milwaukee? It's just like UW. You shouldn't be allowed to say that. That's how the Wisconsin you does it. You should say, I go to the University of Milwaukee. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I should. That, what you, the fuck? Yeah. All right, Jacob. I love it. You ever hear, uh, you were hanging out with your parents? You guys have separate hotel rooms? Uh, not separate hotel rooms. Oh, <laughs> this is what separate I'm rooms, glad I asked this. Separate this was rooms, but yeah. separate rooms, but you're in the same two bedroom hotel. Correct, Airbnb. Okay, in yep. Airbnb. All right, let me ask you this, Jacob. Here's the million dollar question. You ever hear your parents banging a little bit? Not once. Never, never. not once. And never. I know. That's how I feel too. I'm gonna send Hans in to throw three fingers in your mother, and we're gonna figure out exactly. If we can get Mama to make some noise, you know what I'm saying? It's so funny that I said that he I made the Harry Potter joke that he lives under his parents' stairs and he's literally in an Airbnb with his parents. This is all so real. Yeah. Indeed it is. I live in the basement uh -huh. right now. I'm back in Oshkosh. I don't even live in Milwaukee. Oh, Oshkosh. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. It gets worse. Oh, crazy. So wackadoodle, huh? Yeah. My goodness, just out there eating all the cheese, huh? My nosh kosh, I did deliver pizzas. There's so much cheese. Yeah. Hell yeah. So what's going on? You ever pray to your Lord Aaron Rodgers out there? Like, what's going on? It's your religion. You have We're a, just happy he's back. We're thankful for his mercy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's something we'll never say about you, Jacob. Uh... But no, congratulations. It's your first time doing stand-up comedy. You get one of these little joke books made by the great Bonesai. You guys want a special treat? Well, you just watched a man's first set ever doing stand-up comedy. And right now, you may be watching a man's last set ever doing stand-up comedy. We have the return of one of the greatest regulars in the entire history of the show right now. This man has been battling one of the most crippling diseases one can have for years. He got us through the pandemic. An improvisational guru turned stand-up comedian at the Comedy Store was the first cast member to move to Austin, Texas with Red Band and I. He's been retired for months. He's back. For one night only, 
Make some fucking noise for the great and powerful, the return of Michael Lair! Shut up. I came back because now more than ever, you all need my comedy. We're on the brink of World War III, and President Zelensky is a former comedian and now a wartime president. But let's throw down how quickly we lionize him when we make comedians more authorities, they become Bill Cosby. <laughs> now, what kind of fucking bargaining chip are we using with Russia? WNBA's Brittany Griner <laughs> was Soccer lesbian Megan Rapino unavailable. <laughs> hey, how about we send them to Russia, Beto O'Rourke? <laughs> oh, Legalize weed. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I, I smoke crack on 6th Street. Fuck you legalizing weed, you ache up by crane looking motherfucker. Wow, look at that. Michael Lair. How fucking cool is that? Unbelievable. This man, welcome back, buddy. He's given us so many unbelievably killer minutes, so many a- absolutely epic interviews afterwards. Been retired for months, went into a hiding, turned into one of the bad guys from the Superman movies. I'm not sure which one. One where there was a group of them. <laughs> I'm only growing on my beard, big guns. Um, I'm letting um, birds nest in it. <laughs> it's very nice. You've turned into that lady from Home Alone 2 that uh, has all the pigeons for some reason. Gives people a little... P- <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> He's choking. Oh, no. That would be great. Is that a peep? Was that a was that a peep or an actual rubber ducky? I don't. I, don't, I like, literally don't know. Dog toy or something? <laughs> yeah. It's a peep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, um. Yeah. Uh, pardon me, sir. Um, I'm a man, Miles, right? Monty. Pardon me, Monty. I'm um, I'm Michael. We am in that. Um, I'm a man. One beer a day, and only after I um. No, no, I have it in my backpack. You might grab in there for me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I thought you wanted to take uh, one of one. Wait a second. When you open this, is a bunch of foamy snakes going to fly out or something? <laughs> Look at the... No! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, it's that's only your one, one, beer? one beer a day. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the, the biggest bottle of Modelo we've ever seen. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Did my dad <laughs> write this? <laughs> <laughs> I, carrot top. You could tell literally a gag bought at a thrift store for this moment <laughs> right here. <laughs> Michael is a master thrift store uh, specialist. His apartment is filled with the coolest shit. Just shelves and shelves of awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, am I correct, Michael? Am I close to right about this purchase? Um, yes. And um, <laughs> if we could take a minute, you know how I always 
abuse this platform yeah. for my own financial gain? Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Well, yeah. um, I thought we could start at twenty dollars and auction this. You want to auction that? Hell yeah! And this is gonna go to your beer fund. Yeah. All right, absolutely. Let's start the bidding at uh, this bottle of Giant Modelo at twenty. We have a. Uh, we have resident uh, chief, Ben's Chief's 20. 20 bucks. All yeah, right, yeah. Joe White going 25. How about 30? They got that. 40. Should we shoot up? Oh, wow. Bones Eyes in the mix. 50. 50 60. 70. Whoa, 100 bucks up at the top. Whoa. <laughs> Is that real? If somebody's being funny, we're, we're going to jump you after this, just to let you know. All right, so it's at 100. 120. What's that? Whoa, 150 over there in the corner. This is the real deal. How about 200 for Michael's Modelo bottle? Anybody? What? Holy shit, 200 up there for a giant bottle of Modelo. 250, anybody? 250. 250? Come on. 300? Anybody 300? Going once. 250. Is it, is it 250 is locked up there, right? Pretty good. Whoa, 251. <laughs> this has turned into a bad idea, everybody. Yeah. It's officially gone the length of time in which I'm frustrated about it. Yeah. We're at 251, Michael. Guess who's not sending a poster tonight? <laughs> Wow, you are absolutely right. All right, 251 going once, twice, three times. That's it, 251, the big Modelo. Michael, you're a legend. We love you so much. Is the, you want to open her? You want to open it? Come get your stupid bottle, man. Is 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 a bank. It's a bank. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Oh, okay. Very good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is it made out of glass or like ceramic? It's good that you gave him a piggy bank because he just spent his life savings on it. So he'll get to start from scratch again. I don't know what it's made out of. I love it. Sir, will you get down here? This man has a debilitating disease. <laughs> we literally might have minutes left. <laughs> All right, here. All right, here. There she comes. Come. Here she comes, oh, everybody. Man. They sent. They sent I, what appears to be. Uh, wow. With two hundred and fifty-one dollars exactly. Heck yeah. Maybe that girl maybe that girl can use her tiny lime wedge tits to citrus up the bottle of Modelo a little bit. Oh, come on. Those <laughs> tiny little limes that she had, am I right? I have to say something about everybody that comes up here. It's just the it's part of the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not all happiness up here. You yeah, um um I know it's been a while, but they usually move the fucking stairs. Before they lift me on stage, that was the scariest. Thing. <laughs> you know what we should do? Let's auction off the stairs right now. What do you guys think, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? There goes the great Michael Lair, everybody. A legend. We love him. I mean, all you have to do is go back and fast forward to his parts during the pandemic episodes. Literally. Some of the funniest stuff to ever happen in the history of the show. He created himself <laughs> during those wild times. He literally kept the show afloat during the pandemic. How about one more time for my very good friend, Michael Lair? That guy lives for this shit. Lives for moments like that. Your next comedian goes by the name of Olivia Stadler. Olivia Stadler.
You guys having fun out there yet, huh? All right, one more time for Olivia Stadler, everybody. What's up? What's up, bitches? How are you? I, uh, I know I'm dressed slutty. I was actually raised slutty. Yeah. <laughs> I come from a very slutty family. I was raised by, like, a cool mom. Do you guys know about cool moms? Yeah. Like, she would buy me lingerie for Christmas when I was in high school. I'm not kidding. Yeah. So young, she was still writing from Santa on it. Yeah, I'm like, what is the narrative we're building here, mom? Like, is Santa trying to fuck me? I don't care. Like, an old guy snuck in here last night and left a minor lingerie. I don't know if that's festive, okay? I don't think dad's in the Christmas spirit. I don't know. I love my mom. I love my dad. They're great. Angela and Frank are their names. Celebrity couple name, Anne Frank. Pretty sick, right? It's pretty sick. <laughs> I think I can make Anne Frank jokes. I dated a Jewish guy for like four years. I almost converted at one point. I was thinking about it. I called a rabbi. I wanted to know about it, right? I called him. He told me it was going to be $5,000 to convert. Yeah, I was like, are you crazy? I'm not paying that. He was like, uh, you passed the test. You're in. So, thank you. Olivia mm-hmm. Stadler. Hello. Welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. I love it. First time on the show. First time on the show. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, it was like two years before the pandemic, so I guess four years now. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Has anyone ever told you that you look like a background dancer, but like way, way in the background? <laughs> <laughs> that one was for my friends over there. I knew they would like that one. <laughs> I have a couple friends. I know their exact sense of humor. <laughs> Sometimes I pander towards it, and it's okay. fun for everybody. Uh, okay, Olivia, let it begin. Four years in the game of stand-up. All of it here in Austin, Texas? No, I live in Toronto. Oh, in Toronto cool. Base, yeah. Oh, visiting. awesome. We love yeah, Toronto. I love Toronto, too. We did, a, uh, we did one of our first ever road gigs was actually, strangely enough, in a theater in Toronto. Yeah. Kill Tony, back in 2013, we okay. sold out a theater in Toronto. Yeah. And remember, we used to always go to Puff Mama's house, or uh, uh, where you just smoke Puff a bunch Mama, of weed. I, love uh, Puff Mama, yeah. I mean, a legend. I've literally passed out there, yeah. uh, getting too Greedo. high. That's back when it was like super illegal to smoke weed, and there was a place in Toronto for literally the what, like the last fifteen years, where they put on secret comedy shows in the back, and people would get high as fuck, and it was literally like nothing else. There was nothing like it in L.A. No air either, and everyone had hookahs. That, so you're just getting. Stoned as fuck. The, like the, the list of people that have greened out there includes both me and Doug, Doug Benson, Benson yeah. of all people. <laughs> to let you know the level of pot smoking. I mean, it is maximum. It, it's literally like Snoop Dogg would go in there and be like, "This shit's fucked up, man." <laughs> yeah, it was sick. It was so bad that Tony so actually, bad. when he got off stage, went outside, just started taking off his shirt and everything, yeah. and just s- sat in the cur- on the curb. I sat on the curb in like a, <laughs> it was like twenty degrees or something like that. But who knows up there with their Celsius? You know what I'm saying? I didn't even feel it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I totally felt it. I felt sick as fuck. Anyway, Olivia, been doing stand-up four years, all of it in Toronto. How long you been in Austin? Two days. Two days. Yeah. Absolutely. This is what it does to people. Two days in Austin, you already kind of look like D. Snyder. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, <laughs> it affects people very quickly. <laughs> <That space. laughs> no, I'm kidding, Olivia. Uh, so you've been here two days. What have you done for fun so far? Drink, yep. go for a run, shit like that. Okay, you know? okay, absolutely. Uh, who'd you come here with by yourself? No, my friend Patrick. Shout out Patrick Fishman. He's here. I came to visit. I'm a, I'm here. I am a writer on uh, the show Letter Kenny, so I came to like watch their tour. Thank you. Okay. Wait, did you say what did you say about dodgeball? Did you say dodgeball? <laughs> My hearing's so I, bad. Yeah, I, I, know, I swear, dodgeball, I got a. Dodgeball, th- you know. Fucking. What dodgeball? No, do you is there a thing? Is there like a thing that I could put in my ear to hear people? <laughs> yeah, like it's called a thing? hearing aid, Tony. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! No, we're doing a show, you asshole. Do you want me to try not being a woman? <laughs> what? What? Do you want me to try not being a woman? <laughs> the fuck are you not talking being about, a over woman? Here? Did he say What's not happening? being a woman? Am I? Am I, I don't I know what's going right now. on. JK. I love it, Olivia. What do you do for work? I'm a writer on the show Letter Kenny. Oh, that's what yes. you do for a living. Oh yes. my goodness, I forget. In Canada, <laughs> this is considered a comedy writer. Everybody, uh, uh, 
I'm kidding. You were very funny, Olivia. Uh, so what do you have planned for your trip to Austin? What are you excited about? You like taking part of a roller derby event or something like that? Like, Yeah, shit like that. I don't know. Just stand up, hanging mm-hmm. out, drinking, you that, know? That's so fun. I love it. What else about you? You must have some like hobby or something during the day. You ever like dance with like fire sticks or something? <laughs> Why do you keep playing that? <laughs> Why does Bell Bib DeVoe the go to on this? Yeah, one? I don't know. She just because of like the dancer. Yeah, look, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Big J, Little J, Hokerson. <laughs> Lil, yeah, <laughs> Little J Hokerson. <laughs> Red man, you did it. I, think I said Hokerson. <laughs> Hokerson would have been better though. It's better. Little J. Coke. Do you know who Big J. Okerson is? He's yeah, a very yeah, yeah, famous, yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing comedian that Absolutely. wears fingerless gloves. So you'd be Little J. Cokerson because you seem a little cokey. <laughs> but it's okay. We all have our different things. We all have our di- I'm, 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 on this show, I'm gay. So, I mean, like we all play different characters here. Am I gay on this show? <laughs> you oh, can't you be. no idea. <laughs> This is, is this what this pl- show is? Hell I yeah. just get fucked in the end of the night by hands and he's three yeah. fingers? Yeah. We go from kill Tony to kill Bony real quick. Like you know this. what I'm saying? This is Texas. I don't need some more beers. We're, we're real gay in Texas. We ain't that California gay. We're real gay. We're you fucking spit tobacco and swallow cum. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, queso. That fucking one-two punch. You know what I'm saying? That fucking... All right, uh, I got to get my life together. <laughs> Olivia, what's another fun fact about you before we let you go that we would be interested to know about your entire life? Maybe uh, well, you said that your family was slutty. What does that mean? I don't know. We're all sluts. Like I have three sisters. I have a sister who's like in Miami just being a slut. You know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok, fucking 300 followers, still slutting it up every day on TikTok. You know what I'm talking about? No. Wow. F- She's going to love that I said that. <laughs> All right. Ask a more specific <laughs> question. <laughs> I love it. So you're a writer on a TV show. You do that, and you're visiting for how long? Like a week. Okay. Yeah. You're visiting from Canada. Uh, Monty here uh, is from Australia, so Amazing. maybe uh, maybe. Um, Do you think that's the same place? You is know, that you, <laughs> is that what you're insinuating? Maybe we're from the Commonwealth, like we're gonna fucking know each other <laughs> and talk about the metric system and shit. I was gonna what the say. Fuck I do you mean, think yeah. We're doing? yeah. What kind of homosexual show is this? <laughs> I was thinking maybe you guys can compare passports or something like that. Uh, <laughs> have some fun here in the greatest country on planet Earth. Um, Olivia. What, what's the longest set you've ever done? Like 20? Uh, would you like to open up the secret show Thursday? I would love to. Whoa! Oh, Olivia just got a spot out of this. You just oh, got booked shit. on a real comedy show in Austin, Texas. Congratulations. Here, you got laughs. Take a big joke book. Olivia Stadler, everybody. There she goes. There she is. Hey! Hey! They got it already. This band is unbelievable. I mean, they just play shit. You hear that? How about one more time for the band, everybody? This looks like a new name. Make some noise for Mabel Sullivan, everybody. Mabel Sullivan. We're having fun here. Here she is, everybody. Make some noise for Mabel Sullivan one more time. Can you hear me? Um, This is my second time trying to get in, so I feel pretty lucky. It's also the second time that I really feel like I've made some bad choices in my life. And I'm rethinking a lot. I don't really fit in. I didn't think so until we were talking about slutty dressing and, and slutty daughters. I, I am a slutty dresser and I have a slutty daughter. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to Hans. I've seen him a few times and he's hilarious. But not for being funny, but for slaying all of the poontang that he, that he slays. And it sounds like that's quite often. I think slaying means collecting. So, uh, I am a ma'am. I'm identified as a ma'am because that's what everybody calls me. Hey, ma'am. Do you want some fries with that shit? Hey, ma'am. 
Do you want to save the children? Yes, I do. Okay, Mabel Sullivan, everybody, doing a little bit of a uh, doing a little bit of a uh, poetry for us here, everybody. Yes, I do. Mabel, welcome. You have to be one of the funniest gas station clerks we've ever had on this show. I mean, I get the vibe. I get the vibe. You've only been up here a minute. I feel like you're already ready for a cigarette break right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mabel, grab that microphone. Talk into the tip of that thing. Hello. How do you feel? How, how's it going? How long have you been doing stand-up? What the hell's going on with you? <laughs> this is my fourth time. Fourth yeah, time. Yeah, okay. Uh, what made you want to start doing this? Uh, kind of a pathetic life. Oh, shit. D-Madness. Um, D-Madness. I can't do it. I can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't want to. I actually... No, D-Madness, even though he's blind, he knows it's a thick white woman, so he's going to uh, jerk off real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> He could hear it in the voice. He can hear that fucking... That Bye, fucking please come back. He could hear that fucking ham sandwich in the back of your throat, Mabel. I'm kidding. I'm joking. She didn't even hear it. Hi, Mabel. Hi. Uh, I love it. What do you do for work? I am a teacher. Really? At a gas station. <laughs> I train gas station. What do you really do, Mabel? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. What are you teaching? I teach special education. Special education. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love it. Look at that. I always say that seems like it would be one of the easiest jobs ever. You know what I mean? Because how, who's paying attention? You know what I mean? I get lots of smoke breaks, though. So I bet you do. Mabel, tell us more about your life. You have kids or anything? I have kids. Like I said, two, two slutty daughters. Well, one slutty daughter and one on her way, an upcoming slutty daughter. <laughs> An apprentice slutty daughter. But I love this. All this on yeah. the new season of Roseanne, everybody. This is very and, exciting. Uh, I've, I've been married for 20 years. Ah, to John Goodman. So cool. I wish. I wish. Yeah. No, um, it's funny. Don't do it, really. And it's, it's you got married in Vegas, am I correct? I wanted to get married in Vegas. I bet you did. Look at that. That was the dream. Hell yeah. To. It was my childhood dream, but my husband uh, wanted a fancy wedding. Oh, yeah? So where'd day. you do it at? Uh, just in Michigan. At a oh, yes. Nothing fancier than Michigan, everybody. In the oh, the fancy hills of Michigan. So close to the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, you can almost smell it. Just right across the Great Lakes. They're called that because they're the greatest Western lakes Michigan of them all. University. Oh, they're so great. Need, no, no, no need to look at any other lakes other than the great ones. It was very romantic. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up over here. You're funny. I Th love thank you, yourself. Mabel. Thank you. Uh, now, now I actually don't know if I'm funny. If you think I'm funny, now I'm questioning it for a can, second. Can we talk why you think your daughter's a slut a little bit more? Hold on, hold on. How old is she first before we... I know. She's not 18 yet, but... Okay. Whoa, whoa. We don't want to talk about why she's a slut. How old is she? I'll just give you a little hint. Um, not a hint, but I'll, I'll air her dirty laundry for her. She, um... All right. Red band, stop pressing random buttons. She has a boyfriend who's wonderful, and she decided she wanted a break. And in her mind, that meant she could go and screw a couple other people while oh. they were on a break. Oh, jeez. And so... Drink and soda! Stop it. Yeah. Red Band's insinuating that it was a black man. Uh, it was actually a scrawny white was man. Was it a black man? No, it was no? a scrawny white man. That's what she told you. You I seem like the kind of mom that you're pretty mad about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put the side of this van's right up your fucking... <laughs> She's wearing vans, everybody. They're really. torn up vans. You're, you're a little too comfortable yeah. for a mother. You I know am. what I'm saying? I, I am. Two different socks. One's inside that's out. that's trending. That is trending. No, it's not yes, trending. It it's, trending. <laughs> it's not trending, Mabel. Well, I say it's trending, it's trending. Oh, it my better. goodness gracious. So it's nice to do this. I know. I wanted to do something that scared me every day, and I, I did it. Have you ever thought about going for a jog? <laughs> Oh, and, and you know what? Oh, you're going to turn on me. <laughs> oh, did she look physically fit to y'all? No, okay. Ugh. No, honestly. Honestly, Ugh. honestly Ugh. it's fine. I know Tony. that I'm overweight. 
I've acknowledged that. And I thought I would come out and immediately say some fat joke, but I knew that it would come up eventually. You might be overweight, but the weight is over for you, yes. Mabel. You guys grown now, but I may have just changed this woman's life. I'm going to jog every day. Of my <laughs> All right. This got weird. You see that? I'm going to re- become a slut again. Mabel Sullivan, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> making her kilt so to be. Mabel, Mabel, come here. Mabel, even though you weren't really funny, I'm going to give you a big joke because I like you. Mabel Sullivan, everybody. It's either goes one of two ways. She comes back, she goes in for jogs, or she killed herself after the show. Two daughters left motherless after a comedy show goes wrong. Oh, there it was. All right. Let, let's fix the room, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very special treat for you. A golden ticket winner, everybody, uh, is here from Canada. He uh, is an absolute icon on the show. We love him. Here with a brand new minute. Make some noise for Jared Nathan, everybody. Have you ever asked a slaughterer for directions? <laughs> Be careful that you're not in a rush. <laughs> mm-hmm. Moses had a stutter, had a stutter. Ooh, look it up. No wonder the Jews lost in the desert for 40 years. It took them that long to give directions. There it is, exactly a minute. This guy knows what he's doing. Look at this. Special ed, the teacher has become the student and the student has become the teacher. Jared Nathan, coming up here smashing, showing how it's done. Golden ticket winner. We've made you locally famous. How does it feel? Awesome, amazing, great, fantastic, (laughs) glorious. I love it. Adjectives. Very good. You're like yep. a fucking uh, big crazy thesaurus or something <laughs> like that. 100%. 100% is right. Jared, what you been doing for fun? I tried eating healthy. Whoa. Okay. So what do we do? We stopped. I had a we protein stu- shake and went f- for a walk. You had a protein shake and went for a walk. Yeah. That's very good. That's better than what However, you were... However... Oh, okay. <laughs> you ate one box of crayons. <laughs> Where's the lights? Where's the lighting guy? That qualified. Nothing. Nothing on that. You on your phone back there, lighting guy? That should have activated the lights. It went right through me. I have to... Sh- Shot my pants. Okay. It's all the wax. Uh, yeah. Are we all talk- the wax. We're talking about the crayons? And a protein shake. Look like a melted bag of Skittles in your underwear? Call uh, the rainbow. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I love it. So, Jared, that's fun. And did you feel healthier after drinking a protein shake and going for a walk? I would do it again. Okay. Did, yeah. d- did Tony tell you to go on these walks? Yeah, this is a new thing I've been doing, right? <laughs> Try to change people's lives. Nobody laughed at my Mabel Sullivan joke, so uh, no, I'm kidding. All right, so let's talk about it. Uh, Jared Nathan, what else other than a protein shake I'm and a walk? Sh- shooting a movie on Friday. Okay. And I actually spoke to the director. The director, again? yeah, the director. We 
found Pound out. Of Pilot. A Pontius. Perfect. Perfect. Part for you, Tony. Perfect part for me. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, bottom or top? Here we go. Toilet, because you're full of shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? What? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, get out of there. You know what? Fuck everybody. Show's canceled. The fuck do you mean I'm full of shit? It's big. For herself. You son of a bitch. Well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Stop rubbing Whoa. it in. Whoa. My God. Now I know what the bad guy from Terminator feels like. It's like, Jesus. Really piling on here. I love it. Are you are you really I, I <laughs> Are you really even shooting a movie or was it all just for that joke? Actually shooting a movie. Hell yeah. yeah. Are you shooting a movie with a camera or are you shooting a movie like Alec Baldwin shoots a movie? Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Could have hired me for his roast just as a. Just kept me in with the right With a camera, room. actual camera. Yeah, I'm excited. Huh? What? Huh? You have a camera and everything? Is that what you said? Yeah, it's an actual film set, yeah. Okay. It's legitimate. All right. How'd you get, how did you get funding for a legitimate film? No, he got hired. I got hired. Uh, yeah. It's on my phone. Oh, very cool. Thank you for Jason Rouse for the hookup. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Is this a Canadian film? It's actually shot here in the States. It's an American film. Did you see Olivia Stadler on stage earlier? Do you guys know each yeah. other in the Toronto scene? Yeah, I know her. Okay. We did some shows at the underground. I love the underground. Yep. Puff Mama. I mean, that's a perfect name for you to say. You could have stopped at any point there. You had it. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is the word. I said the bird, bird, bird. Oh, yeah. When are you going to do that? What are you. Waiting for that, yeah. Hell yeah. Do you ever do karaoke? I do. What yeah. what what do you usually go? What's your go to? Like Fish. Free falling. <laughs> Free falling. Yeah. Really? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. You get. Should we? You think we should get a little verse from Jared? Wow. Wow. That was so accurate. Nine years. In a couple months, it's going to be nine years that we've been doing this live podcast. I've had hundreds of people sing a part of a song. Never has anyone been smart enough to start with a chorus like you. I mean, wow. Just give them what they fucking came for. Even the musicians are like... Even D Madness is like, I've never seen that shit before in my life. I mean, incredible, Jared. You did it so seamlessly. I love that. That's the. That's yeah, a, thank it, you. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd love to have you on the secret show again Thursday. There he is. You got him again. Go see him Thursday. There he goes, Jared Nathan, yeah! everybody. Hell yeah. All right, make some noise for Benjamin Sefton, another stranger out of the bucket. Looks like a brand new name. We're meeting a lot of good people tonight. Everybody's been new tonight. Very interesting. The Bucket of Destiny speaks again. Can you guys put your hands together one time for Benjamin Sefton? Thank you. Hey, Tony. How's it going? 
South by Southwest is over, guys. We'll see some good music. I'm here to talk about my favorite rapper, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy got a new job recently. Do you wonder? You wonder where? The zoo. Yeah, he posted on Twitter. He was feeling a little sick. He thought he had coronavirus, but you know, it turns out it was just the flu. He made a, he released a game console recently called the Soldier Game, and Nintendo sued him, so he had to play all the, pay all the lawyers and legal fees and stuff. It was Nintendo. I love Soldier Boy. <laughs> Anyways, it's great. Man. How was your South by Tony? <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, there's a there's a minute from Benjamin Sefton. Wow, Benjamin. All I have to say is boo. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Benjamin. This is your first time on. I'd remember you. You have the energy of somebody that's going to kill everybody. I mean, you look like the guy that murders the murders. Like, you look like a serial killer that only gets off on killing other serial killers. I'm really nice. <laughs> what? You seem like the that, last... That's how I get my victims. You, you know, seem nice. like the last white taxi cab driver. You drive an actual taxi, like in New I, Jersey or something like that? I don't have like a that? driver's license. That's <laughs> you don't have a driver's license. No, no, okay. No. Wow. Even Jared Nathan has his driver's <laughs> license. I mean, What's the reason? Like, like you're not allowed to? Or? It, it expired, and I'm too lazy to go. Wow. To go okay. It's, it's Is there a the two thing. liter of Coca-Cola next to your bed right now? No. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper! Yeah. <laughs> That's the, this is the type of guy that gets two liters of... Uh, Soda. I'm, I'm not, I am correct about this. Am I right? Just last night, man. You're goddamn right. A two liter of Dr. <laughs> Pepper. It's a very specific unit of measurement. Only a specific type of person drinks like that. Do you even use a cup or you drink it straight out of the bottle? Oh, Tell the yeah. truth. The Yeti cup. For a Yeti cup. Never you have a special Yeti. Yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. You have a yeah. special chair that you sit in. There's one TV tray there. Am I correct? Uh, coffee table. You have a real coffee table. Do you have roommates then? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the vibe. If you had your own place, it would just be one little, one of those little, like, you know, stands with, like, that you have pool like that. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? Do you, have, Do you smoke inside of where you live? Do you smoke on the inside? Sometimes, yeah. Cigarettes? Uh, so, yeah, man. That's exactly. So you see what I'm doing here. Do you people all see how rare all of these things are that I'm nailing? <laughs> just off of a look, I could tell that you smoke inside your own place. A rare thing for even smokers. An extremely rare thing, right? Yeah, I mean, 100%, both of us, 100%. Huge smokers. We never smoke. Right, right. Um, what is it? Marlboro. Oh, um, oh, wait, 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 I'm going to say uh, camel regular, full flavor, not light, not blue, but like camel old school. What is it? Oh. Uh, this is like somebody that's on a diet, though. Am I right? That's not your OG cigarette. You went to that because you started having chest pain. Oh, pains. I smoked two packs of them a day. So you smoked two packs wow, of the light a, blue a day. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You that wake is, up goobery, huh? Uh-huh. Absolutely incredible. I hate jogging, so I'm just taking out the breathing. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you to run. I know that's impossible. I really think that Mabel's <laughs> going to do something, but, I mean, you, uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Deep Madness will beat you in a race. You do a lot of credit card fraud? Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you have, have a skin. very specific look, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. You really, really like, do. You, you it is very interesting. You look like the kind of guy that eats uh, the spaghetti o's right out of the can. Has anyone ever told you that you look like that? Has anyone ever told you that you look like the kind of guy that has two angry big dogs? <laughs> Am I close to right about this? Do you have a pet? Yeah. A cat. snake. Cat. Cat. It's a cat. Wow. Look at that. Do you have a room with a bunch of tarps? Like, like all over the... <laughs> my, 
my do roommate you, do you, has tapestries. Do, in his oh, room. yeah. Do you have ham and maybe a mandarin orange juice? Yeah. Every what, morning? what is in your yeah. refrigerator right now that belongs to you? That is a really um, good question. I might again. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another guess here. Is there a pack of Lunchables in there? No. Not okay. Right now. But there is a bag of bologna. There's some lunch meats. Assorted lunch okay. Meats, yeah. What um, kind of lunch meats are we talking about? You seem like a pumpernickel kind of guy. I just, That's I just not what I meant. <laughs> What's the, the what pickle the loaf? Pumpernickel. I meant pickle. Pickle. Pick, <laughs> pumpernickel is a bread. Pickle <laughs> loaf is what I was going for. Do you know what pickle loaf is? No. No, even you. Okay. I'm, I'm a little bit more white trash than you, but I recovered. <laughs> I pulled out of it. I, I let go of the ways of my te- <laughs> young teachings. But I know... I, yeah, pickle That's loaf, so dude. Weird. I used to eat pickle loaf sandwiches with American. <laughs> yeah, are you a rhubarb on guy? Schwabel's white bread. My grandma did make rhubarb pie. Are you a rhubarb guy? You I used, to, I used to eat raw rhubarb every weekend. It's it's really bad for you. You can die from that. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, Benjamin. How long have you been doing stand up? Eight years now. Eight years. Holy shit! Oh my god! A little woman just screamed for her life. It's absolutely wild. <laughs> All right, eight years, all of it here in Austin? Yeah, pretty much. New York City, just for a little bit. You started in New York? Uh, I traveled there and did stand-up when I was there. Okay, so you lived in New York or New Jersey? I was just traveling there, visiting friends and doing stand-up while I was there. All right, okay. Okay, anyway, um, so Benjamin, what do you do for a living? Um, nothing, really. Really? Yeah. You collect in, like, government checks? Yeah, I'm on disability. Okay, what's yeah. your disability? Uh, you, I have a mental illness. You do? Yeah. You know, I'm calling your bluff on this one, dude. <laughs> we had Jared Nathan up here earlier. You're one of the most mentally stable people we've had on the show here so, tonight, actually. It's so actually you know, quite actually, incredible. Uh, I suffer from insomnia. So okay. I find myself laying awake at night just thinking, like, if I could go anywhere, where would I go? And I'd go to fucking sleep. Right. Enjoy it. <laughs> there you go. That's Brody Stevens. That's a true comedian with mental illness. This has been confirmed. From adult <laughs> okay. Thank you, Brody. There he goes. Just, just like the sound bite. He's left us too soon, everyone. No, that's enough. That's enough. Don't do that. No more. It's just fucking <laughs> depressing. Uh. Anyway, uh, I love it. So, Benjamin, that's very exciting. So, when, have you ever had a real job before? Yeah, I, I worked in IT for a long time. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get off a of disability and get a job. But very cool, yeah. very cool. All right. Any hobbies, anything that you enjoy oh, other man. than stand-up um, comedy? I, I DJ a little bit. I really? I make, make art. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do a little bit of everything. All right. Very cool, Benjamin. Not good at any of it. How about your love life? Any, 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 you, have any, uh, you ever go on dates or anything like that? Uh, I try to, man. They banned me from Tinder. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. What do you have to... Okay, that's enough of that. What do you have to do to get banned on Tinder? I don't know. I just swiped right on everybody. <laughs> and then started filtering. And next thing I know, I can't log in anymore. Was there any keywords in the direct messages? You know, like strangle or... Uh... No, nah, I, I was so excited I beat Tinder because I ran out of women. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. I don't think that's how it works. I don't, <laughs> yeah. th- I don't think you won. I mean, it's over. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, Benjamin, eight years in the game. You did uh, your finest minute of soldier boy jokes. Uh, you really came out guns a-blazing. I believe it was joke, just repeated four it, times. Indeed. It was, it was the same joke over and over. No doubt. <laughs> um, yeah, what's Soldier Boy's favorite color? We already know, Benjamin. We know the answer to this. I kind of want to hear it, though. <laughs> I don't comment on people's gang affiliations. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> well, we know your gang affiliation. You're a crip for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> creep, not crip. Creep. <laughs> Make some noise one more time for Benjamin Sefton, everybody. Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin, take a joke book with you. Benjamin, take one of these. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, we have a, a brand new regular on this show who's been uh, performing a brand new minute every week for a few weeks now. Let's see what happens this week. Make some noise for Ellis H everyone. Yeah, 
Y'all, I was thinking if I went back in time and I talked to Martin Luther King, what do you think he'd be more excited about? Like Obama or interracial porn? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could just see it too. He'd be, Obama is a very fine young man, but tell me more about this black. <laughs> I say, damn, dude, it's just black dudes smashing white women. That's what I've been dreaming about. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm tired of beating my meat to all these black butts. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm getting older. I'm getting older. Life is precious. And sometimes you don't appreciate things until they're gone, like your fucking teeth. You won't appreciate them bitches until they are gone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have no molars. None of that. That's the, that's the shit that help you chew up food real good, real fine. I'm about to say, if y'all don't like me, if you hate my guts and you, you want to take me out, you ain't got to shoot me, you ain't got to stab me. Just order my ass a uh, steak. I'll be at the Texas Royal House fighting for my life in that bitch. LSH, everybody. There you go. A new minute from LSH. Hell yes, yeah. Sir. Welcome back, Ellis. Here you are again. Is that true? What happened to your molars? Uh, just... You know, gummy bears, bro. They tell you about uh, drugs and shit. They don't never tell you about gummy bears. That's a really fucking shit. Up. That's true. They're sweets. Gummy bears will fuck you up. I love it. So, uh, all right. And does that really affect you? You can't eat a steak? You plow through it, I, No, right? I can eat it, but I got to chew really carefully. Like, I'm just... My shih tzu does me. that. Right. Yeah. Your what? My shih tzu does that. He's had all his teeth pulled, just his front teeth. and. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he eats like my Shih Tzu, Tony. All right. So, Alice, let's talk about it. Earlier, when you came in uh, tonight into the green room, you were wearing a shirt yeah, that said, "My name is Ellis H," and uh, you said that I had a look on my face like I was coming up with jokes. You look like the fucking devil. <laughs> you this motherfucker was so red, he looked like he wanted to end my life. And everybody in that room was up to no fucking good with him. Just, they were all laughing. That's they were a all great giving... shirt, man. Yeah, like, the shirt is great, but, you know. If you bought it at a fair or something, like, do you really think that that... Sh we should look at that shirt, by the way. I mean, where is it? What did you do with it? it did, you, did you change it because you were afraid of what I was going to say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can we get that? Where's that shirt hidden? Can we get it up here? Can we, you put it on for us? How many of you think we should get him in this shirt that he was going to wear? Sometimes it's not fair. One of the things that happens is sometimes I see some of the regulars or cast members right before the show, and uh, they get scared. Like, if I'm like, oh, nice hat, William, or whatever. Like, uh, But very rarely does anybody ever change. This is exciting. But yeah. you don't like being made fun of. Is that correct, Ellis? Not on this shit. <laughs> Fucking horrible. This like you like the roast master and shit. No, stop it. Don't like, compliment me. It makes it weird. You're like an evil fucking Timmy Turner or something. Did you get some new shoes though? Those look new. No, they're the same. Those same aren't shoe. the ones. <laughs> they're the same. Those shoe. aren't the ones we originally made fun of. Yeah. They just my white. At one point, I roasted his shoes so bad that he took them off and threw them off stage. <laughs> Those were not the shoes. I would remember. Yeah. Those, those are you just take good care of those. It's all right, man. I don't uh, Tony, the shirt is over here. Okay, we have the shirt, everybody. Uh, here it is. How the fuck did you get the shirt? <laughs> Come on, put it on, Ellis. How many of you think you should put it on right now? I don't give a fuck. I don't give in a peer pressure. Fuck all y'all. Uh, I'm just on. kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll put it on. Just give me a second. Give me. All right. Here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Putting on his... There's a QR code for a better shirt, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> already on the thing. Oh, my God. He looks so miserable right now. This is like... This is like when you put a, Yo. one of those weird outfits on a little puppy dog or something. Yeah. <laughs> and little they're, shoes and they're walking They're like just <laughs> uncomfortable trying to squeeze out of it the whole time. But that is your official merch. Am I correct? Yes. This is my official <laughs> merch, everybody. Um, my friend Lashia made it. It's um, LTH production. Um, yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> all, are you giving all these shout outs to the maker of that shirt? No. But look. He has paintbrush. Yes, I am giving a shout out to her. But look, here's the deal. First off, I have folded it up and it's all wrinkled, so it looks like ultra shit. But look, I know it was shit before or whatever. But no. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Alice. <laughs> Everything's okay. I'm your friend. I just like the shirt. I, I'm not even going to make fun of it. Yeah. I mean, Bro, it's so like, cool. Bro, your face was red than a bitch, though. Wait, what, why, what do you think? My face turns red when I have high blood pressure, Alice. Uh, I don't know why my face turns red. Like, I heard Bishop, and he, he was like, oh, man, that's the shirt I was telling you about. <laughs> and I said, these motherfuckers up to no good. They plotting on a nigga, and I don't appreciate it. A lot of people have been mentioning, a lot of people behind the scenes, they go, did you see Ellis' shirt the other day? I didn't see it. <laughs> and they told me, they just kept saying QR codes, QR codes, dude. They just kept saying QR codes. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> but here it is. Now I see, hi, comma, my name is Ellis H. Yeah, because people keep fucking up my name. So I just was like, hi, my name is Ellis H. Did yes, you, like a letter in parentheses. Did you, you know? design this in Microsoft Word? Like... <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. It really is. It really is. It's truly, uh, I mean, just incredible. Do you own it? And have people bought it? Have you sold any? Yeah, I sold 20. Where'd you sell these at? I didn't sell any. <laughs> I lied. I shouldn't have lied to y'all. I lied to y'all, but hey, fuck it, man. How much is one of those shirts? Uh, 20, no, 40, no. What? Whoa, hey, whoa. Wait, hey, hold on. This hold auction on. is hey, going the wrong on, direction. Hold on, I, I got um, $35. $35 is what you're charging? Do you have these anywhere? Did you even make other ones? Or are these made to order? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> Meet me at Kinko's. Yeah. Bro, look. How about this? I drive Lyft. Gas is higher than a bitch. And that's why I got this shirt. It's $35, okay? Shit, guys. I'm trying to live my dream. Help me make out. Please. <laughs> Oh. But you haven't sold one. How long have they been for sale? Two weeks. Two weeks. Not one shirt sold. What do the QR codes do? It links it to... So, you know, Linktree, just like a link T. You feel me? Like, you just scan that bitch, and it goes to my TikTok, YouTube, all that shit. <laughs> Ellis, you're adorable. It's a fucking stupid shit. What? <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. The only person who's going to buy it is named Ellis H. Otherwise, it's fucking ridiculous. Hey, listen. <laughs> you have to Hold meet on. another person called Ellis H and then hope that they buy your shirt. Listen. Yeah. Your margin of people is very slim. <laughs> and not, here, only, not only does it have to be the exact I same haven't said anything in about 15 minutes and that's the... <laughs> It's the first thing I had to say. <laughs> hey, look, man. David Beckham, calm the fuck down. What? God damn. That's oh, a compliment. Oh, you're showing that one's going to get your motherfucking Ellis, shirt. Ellis H. Hell. is the only person that roasts with compliments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, David Beckham, right, you David. billionaire soccer player. Oh, shit. Don't stop. You global superstar. <laughs> you suave winner. You feel the burn? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Ellis, I love you. I mean, you are such an interesting character. I mean, you have these weird like actor energies. You're there, you're not there. Sometimes you're fucking hilarious. Sometimes you're weird as fuck. I love it. I love the trip. You're like very, very human, and I can tell you have a lot of passion. And to wear a shirt like that early on in your career tells me that you really fucking believe in yourself. I've seen this before with people I've seen this yeah, before yeah. And, they, and they end up being they end up being big big stars I really believe in you how about one more time for LSH everybody yeah. hey, thank you. all right you guys think we should go to this bucket one more time huh all right one last bucket pull Let's see what happens out here Sam Headroom, everybody. Sam Watkins. Crossed out his name and put Sam Headroom. So this will be interesting. On a very special mental illness episode of Kill Tony. Sam Headroom is next. Anybody coming? Hopefully it's Max's brother. Nobody's moving here. No movement. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. All right, here he is. Sam Headroom, everybody. Oh, shit. Uh, 
I'd rather fuck uh, Big Ange than Lady Gaga. And you guys seen House of Gucci? Yeah, I need some of that uh, Ange Gucci, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, my pronouns are uh, nigga. Uh, I feel like, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I feel like if you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to make you mad if you got some tits and a dick if I call you a nigga, right? Also, I'm horrible with names. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of my buddies, uh, his, uh, we call him Timer. That's because he c counts down before he comes. Uh, I always imagine it like a, a one, a two, a three. Um, I don't listen to country music because I don't want to listen to nothing I might be hung to. Um, just saying, uh, you know, I ain't trying to die listening to Toby Keith. Fuck yeah, Sam Headroom. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Good, good, good. How you doing, Tony? Absolutely good. Welcome to the show. I like your style. Thank you. Thank At one point, you did a joke in which you said the N-word, and Deep Madness plugged his ears. I think he thought you were a white guy for a second. Uh, that wouldn't be the first time I've been mistaken. But no, D, I'm here to tell you, this guy looks just like Frederick Douglass' grandson. Uh, this is Sam Hedroom. Welcome to the show. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, this is my first time, Tony. Really? Are you fucking serious? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's... Actually shocking to me, based on shocking. your mic technique alone. I mean, you actually kept the microphone in front of your face uh, the Tony, entire... Tony, I've listened to every single episode of Kill Tony. Oh, wow. Okay, very cool. Up till uh, Tom Papa. Okay, yep, yep. <laughs> that was uh, today. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow, that's so cool, Sam. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. From Chicago. You listen yes, to every episode of the show. When, how long you been in Austin for? Uh, two days. Uh, I'm out here because my brother works for uh, Tesla. So uh, sweet, you know. hell yeah! Thank goodness for diversity hires. Am I right? Bacon soda. Thank you. <laughs> I love I wanted it. Wanted a bacon soda. God damn it! Wow, really did. you're an actual Collect fan of the show. This yes. is so cool. Tim, yes, I yes, love it. So, what else are you doing up in Chicago? What do you do for a living, Sam? I work for Amazon. I work for Bezos. Wow. Look at that. Two brothers, one working for Bezos, one working for Elon Musk, and people think slavery has ended. Isn't it incredible? Isn't it funny how they think? Yes, sir. I love it. Luckily, I know Sam can handle any joke that uh, I say. Tony, I actually uh, drink oh. with you in uh, Chicago. Oh, really? After uh, Thalia Hall? Yes, sir. Oh. It was a bad show. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> the podcast? That good. But you didn't call me up, so. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the yeah, podcast Chicago, was rough? I drank with you after the bar, actually. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, my old lady gave you a shot, and it wasn't good. What do you, you mean? You complained about it. In Chicago. Okay. Yeah, last time you played Chicago. What do you mean? But when you say she gave me a shot, it wasn't good. What does that mean? Uh, it was a shot of, well, something, and she gave it to you, and you said, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm and not I, drinking this peasant's piss. Exactly. And I said, I said, why would you give Tony fucking Hinchcliffe a huh. well fucking shot? She's going to watch this. She's going to be mad. But don't give Tony Hinchcliffe fucking. We, this motherfucker deserves top notch, right, guys? Am Thank I lying? You. you know what, Sam? Tony You're Hinchcliffe. my new butler. Congratulations. I just got a new penthouse here in Austin that I need, uh, <laughs> that I need a butler for. I'm kidding. Uh, Sam, so what exactly are you doing for Amazon? Uh, I make books. Wow. Yeah, I make Look books. Okay. What exactly do you do? I, like, nigga, I literally you, you make like books. Sew the, you like sew them together? You like from, put the from start to finish, I make books. Oh, wow. so the case to the block, that's what they call it. They call it a block, but that's all the pages that you, some of you smart motherfuckers read. Uh, Very interesting. Yeah. Did you I see the books. Did you see the Kill Tony book uh, while you were working? I am a the broke motherfucker because I work for Amazon. No, Flew down here on points, uh, so that's why I ain't bought it yet. But hopefully he'll buy that bitch for me now after this just happened. I can't believe this is happening. Sam, it's okay. Everything's good. I'm, you're I'm in so good fucking hands. nervous right now. Like, you're good. You're handling dude, it you're perfectly. You're a comedic hero of mine, for real. You're oh, wow. so fucking funny. And I wish the motherfucker would talk some shit. That's why I was glad Freddie Gibbs 
And Brian Moses is over here. Hell that yeah. That motherfucker's funny, too. See, that's Chicago street cred, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Put some respect on his name, goddammit. Thank you, Sam. Are you You're finished or are you done? Butler and my new agent, everybody. <laughs> this guy is, yeah, yeah. he wears many hats. Unfortunately, that hat's one of them. <laughs> I like your style, though, Sam. You have a love life? You have a lover back in Chicago? Yeah, I have a wife. Okay. How long have you been married for? Uh, three years. Been together for about 13. 13 years with the same lady. Sam, how do you keep things fresh in the bedroom? Uh, Tony, I have what's called a hooked dick. Whoa. Look at that. Hell yeah. Okay. It's like your dick is... So, uh, yeah. So if you want to get your nut, just, you know, get on top, ride this motherfucking shit. You know, wow, Tony genuine, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, that it's is absolutely incredible. That sounds nice like in between thick. Snoop it's songs. Yeah. That's what that's. <laughs> I don't know no, what I'm, he said, but I'm hard as a rock Tony. right now. That's all I know is that Tony, Tony, I'll the suck hook that will dick. bring you, you back. Stop, I'll suck that dick. Can I say one thing though, Tony? Sure, absolutely. Now I'm not wearing a wedding ring, guys, but that's because I lost a lot of weight, and the bitch fall off. So you know, I wasn't trying to be on Delta losing a motherfucker. You know, ring. right. Right. But yeah, none of you bitches try to fuck with me. I'm taking. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Old Captain Hook over here. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> if I hit you with that Watkins whammy, <laughs> you gonna try to be my baby's mammy, and and I, I'm I'm almost done paying child support, so you know I ain't, I ain't trying to. Wait, are you about to rhyme with that, <laughs> Tony? I got bars. I ain't. Even <laughs> <laughs> well, I got bars. Do you really? Yeah. Will you do something? Yeah, I got bars. I got super bars. And I know he's slapping the bass so well, too. So what do you think? Are you going to do something right now? Tony, if you would give me the privilege. Let's do it. Absolutely. Listen to every episode. This is his moment. Sam Hedrum. Tell them whatever you want if you want a different, Sam. No, that's great. Can we just go? Thanks. Yo, yo, yo. Um, I'm a Negro and kill Tony. They mad at me, but I hit El Jabronis. Telling these niggas that I ride all the pony ain't talking about his cock. I go high as fuck. Tell your niggas like the Star Wars got a lightsaber. If she's talking bullshit, I tell her watch your behavior. Matter of fact, I might shave ya, cause I don't like the 70s pussy. Basically, nigga, don't pussy. Ain't no fucking pussy, a nigga ain't gay But if you talk that shit, i hit you with the K Yes sir, that's big gums, I come from Chirac She's acting like she wants to get on my dick Bitch, back up, before I kick you with the Kung Fu Bitch is talking bullshit, but I'm dumb cool Matter of fact, you a fool I'm in this motherfucker telling y'all that I'm so old school Yes, sir, got the KRS one. If you need some fucking knowledge, never went to fucking college. But if your girl wanna swallow the nuts, tell her that she's out of luck. I don't give a fuck, cause I only talk to one girl that got a nice butt. Yes, yeah, she's white, but I'm doing all right. Cause I'm interbreeding and making sure that all these white people ain't gonna be breeding no more. I'm trying to make the white people brown. Y'all mad, but I come through the fucking H-Town. Just to say that I love all the rappers. Telling them I don't care, cause a nigga dapper. Yeah, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Versus only, or as I call it, a reverse Jared Nathan. No chorus at all. He, he, I'm surprised your song didn't have a hook. Dude, you <laughs> Sam, a great performance. Thank you for everything. Uh, such an amazing energy. No, you, it's such thank an you, interesting Tony. episode. I love that uh, we were lucky enough to get you out of that bucket on your trip here to Austin, Texas. Take a big joke book from Bonesai. You've earned it, my friend. There he goes. Make some noise one more time for Sam Headroom, everybody. His first time ever doing stand-up. His first time ever on Kill Tony. He's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of episodes into the show. And out of those hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of episodes, there is one man that has performed more than any other man. 
There is a regular on this show that has done more new minutes than any other comedian in the history of the show. He now opens up all the time, full time, on the road for me, for Joe Rogan, headlining his own shows, selling out everywhere. The man is a modern day phenomenon. He is the big red machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is, live in the flesh. It's the real man, William Montgomery. I, uh, I also have a hook dick. <laughs> Every Wednesday is Ash Wednesday at my house. That's Martin Luther King after he smashes a white woman. That would have been so much better if I was right after Ellis. I thought, okay, I was looking for an ending to that joke, and I was thinking, okay, that has to be a... Hey, while we're busy defunding the police, can we defund the court system? Specifically the court where the judge ruled in favor of my ex-wife? She fucking took everything! That's not something to cheer about. I don't know why... Oh, God. I'm so far right, I almost fell off the flat earth. <laughs> this bitch took the house, the kids! A company in Brazil has invented a new weapon that causes a person's brain to internally combust. They're calling the device listening to Aphex Twin. <laughs> I only said that because I know Jimmy Carr is a very big Aphex Twin fan. Do you think I'm Jimmy Carr? Aren't you Jimmy Carr? Yes, yes I am. The famous British Apparently comedian? Apparently I'm David Beckham and Jimmy Carr. I swear to God, I thought you were Jimmy Carr. <laughs> I heard your British accent. I was thinking, what famous British comedian is this? It's Jimmy Carr, isn't it? And you're a great artist. My British accent. <laughs> it's Jimmy Carr, isn't it? Yeah, no, I am Jimmy Carr. You're right. I'm fucking... I don't even know who the fuck I am. I'm Jimmy Carr. Correct. Jimmy Carr. Correct. Okay, that's what I was thinking up Correct. there. Correct. Are you Louis C.K. during the pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You got it. Look at the light. You activated the light. That's a big deal. That's a big deal to activate the light. <laughs> Why would you do Very that to me up here? Why would you do that? Very I'm rare sorry. for a first time panel I'm sorry member. that I activated the lights. Is your skin okay? <laughs> William Montgomery. You shouldn't have called me Jimmy Carr. I was being nice Why are you doing night. this to me? <laughs> you called me Jimmy Carr. Yeah, you've been nice the whole night. Why are you coming after me? Because you called me British. Are you not Jimmy Carr? I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, I am. I'm just being a dick. I'm Jimmy Carr. Okay, yeah. I thought you were coming at me pretty hard. No, I'm Jimmy Carr. You're right. You're right. I love it. So, William, welcome. Another new minute. Uh, absolute thunder and lightning. You're always an absolute force to be reckoned with. You come in. You close every episode. It's an impossible job. You're the only person literally wired for this position that can guaranteed come in. Uh, is it true that coincidentally, what are the odds? I've never heard you mention it before, but is it true that you have a hook dick? Yes. All right. Can you tell us uh, times in your life in which you've used this to your advantage? Shit. There were a couple. There was one night I was real drunk on an elevator, and I used it to press the buttons on the elevator. <laughs> I used to work at a uh, one of the places that will call you making the, the phone calls about the IRS and taxes. I worked at a place like that. Sometimes my hands would be full eating a sandwich, whatever. <laughs> And I would use my thing to dial on the telephones. I've used oh. it. Okay. So what, what direction exactly does it hook? <laughs> it seems like you're using... This is not what I pictured exactly. It hooks kind of down. It looks kind of down? 
Yeah, it hooks kind of down. I mean, there was a time I was working at a Borders bookstore, and I would be, you know, eating sandwiches. It was lunchtime, and I was having to do other stuff, and I'd use my penis to, uh, I don't know, type one buttons, do, uh, do all kinds of stuff. It's, yeah, it's real weird. It's, it's weird I brought that up. I, don't, I normally don't even... It's so, so weird that other guy mentioned the hook thing. Yeah, it is interesting. The hook thing. In those sweatpants, I think I can sort of see it, actually. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like there's a little cloud in the blue sky. You know what I'm saying? looks like there's a little cumulus going on down there. <laughs> a cloud like in the a little blue that, sky. There's a little bit of that little red machine going on. You know what I mean? A little bit of that fucking Memphis Strangler down there. A little bit of that fucking... I fucking knew I shouldn't have worn these sweatpants. I literally was looking at myself for fucking an hour before I got here thinking, can people see my thing in these things? Yeah, I think my... We can see it. We can see that little fucking paprika package that you've got there. <laughs> I think my fucking, shirt hangs down low enough. I guess it doesn't. That little fucking cinnamon stick you have down there. That fucking... Little uh, cinnamon stick. That's a sweet name. <laughs> 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 that is a sweet name. A little cinnamon stick. Did you guys know that broccolini wasn't a thing until the 90s? They invented broccolini by crossing broccoli and asparagus. Very That's rarely do I drop a fun fact into a William Montgomery <laughs> interview. But Tony, I honestly have to... Shut up, fucking Red Man. What the fuck are you doing trying to talk, you dumbass? Whoa, watch out. Oh, look out here. We've seen this before. These two do not like each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you try to just fucking talk and you knew not to talk and you put the microphone down, so put it back down. Well, why don't you wear the same color as all of us trying why to fit in here the on the table? Yeah. This is a weird yeah. blue night. Yeah, or it blueberries. Very rare. This is incredible. Yeah, this one actually matches. I had the sweatshirt. No, it does uh, not. This matches. No, no it, it doesn't. This not. totally matches. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, the shirt. I was looking at it literally for a fucking hour in the mirror. I was looking at my penis, and then I was looking at the colors matching. But they you match. Were, you were looking at it in different lighting. The lighting here is show lighting. It's show business lighting, and uh, your shirt's a little more royal than your purple. pants. Yeah, it's you know? purple. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the same fucking color. You can't tell the difference. How many? You make some noise if you think William's wearing two different colors right now. Nope. Nope. No! 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 Not tonight! <laughs> it's the same fucking color. Is that drunk lady all right over there? She's scaring me. She's about to fall off the fucking table. The fuck is going on? Get out of here! Somebody get this bitch out of this building! Yeah, get her out! I'm no, kidding, I'm kidding. Don't kick her out. Don't kick her out. He's kidding, guys. Get the fuck away from her! Holy shit. For those of you just listening to the podcast, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Yoni didn't possibly get it on a camera. Oh, there he is. He was in position. Perhaps get the fuck it. away from her! That scream is priceless. I mean, I'd imagine the, a lot of the podcast listeners might not get it, but live at a real live show, that is just fantastic. Yeah, I bet they don't fucking get it! <laughs> yeah, what, are you ta what are you doing? What are you doing? No, and I have to say I'm so relieved. Uh, Adam back there, who I guess works for Big Laugh, I had no fucking idea he worked for them. I thought he was some crazy guy who was going to kill us. Who are you talking about? Nobody knows what you're what You're on a live show right now. You're literally I dropping somebody's name. I swear to God, I was name so relieved. And their employer. Like, what, what, made you, what made you bring up this guy? I, I was legitimately so relieved. I would see him at every fucking show, and I was like, who is this fucking guy? He's always standing in the corners. I swear. He I works got, here at Vulcan. Yeah, he's back over there right. right now. Okay, so why are you talking about Because I'm it? relieved that he wasn't going to kill everybody. I literally, I get high as shit and watch his ass and just think, yeah. what is this guy fucking doing here all the time? You're worried about the wrong people, dude. <laughs> There's one guy that you should be scared of that uh, is going to say that you're wearing two different shades of blue. 
Now you end the uh, fucking episode. That's how you do it. You hit the fucking button. There you go. How God. about one more time for William Montgomery, everybody? He's everywhere. William Montgomery. How loud can this place get for my amazing guest? A great Kill Tony debut. Monty Franklin, everybody. Listen to him on Joe Rogan. It's out tomorrow. How about a hand one more time for the band, everybody? The great Michael Gonzalez on the drums. The great Matt Muling on guitar. And how about one more time for the man himself, D Madness, on that bass. An amazing drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt with Monty Franklin in it is indeed in the chamber. RyanJEbelt.com for uh, all the prints of each episode of the show. And uh, we'll do it again. Uh, special thanks to the Yellow Rose, the Red Rose, Red Bull, White Claw, the W Hotel, and of course, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>